Okay guys, Akumalo Crypto here with another Bitcoin update. Uh, what a pleasant weekend, right? We had a nice movement yesterday. Well, let's talk about it. <clears throat> this is the daily chart. Um, as we can see here, we have broken this blue, tr blue line here that has acted as support, but we are now getting back to the to this area we broke it <coughs> okay actually we, we tried to get back in but we had uh, we couldn't right we had a rejection so are you gonna back in this are you gonna back are you gonna back into this area here break above this trend blue trend line here or this trend line is not gonna be valid any longer. It remains to be seen, right? Let's take a look at the EMAs. So, so far it's, we have this, <laughs> remember when I, when I said about this particular cross, it is just crossed back here. I said, oh, don't, don't forget, about, uh, don't take it, don't take those crosses here, uh, uh, super important because now we just crossed back you see a small cross here and then we cross back we are below it and it's a bear market indeed we don't need you to, to talk a, a lot about it <clears throat> um, so we are 266 days in this correction I, I, I the calculation was I did the wrong calculation because we are we we considering the the amount of time that we spent in the impulse the in the impulse uh wave three okay considering this point here where it starts it's 163 days 160 one, 1000 sorry 1066 days and we are 266 days <clears throat> in this correction so we are this is 25 percent i mentioned it to you guys that uh, at least 24 percent at least so we are now starting to get to the point where we are like uh we correct enough in time 25 percent okay but it's just the beginning i the way that i'm counting it see we have five waves now to complete this wave Z here, okay. <clears throat> uh, let let's just take a look at the daily chart, and then we talk about again the hourly chart, and then we talk about again the daily chart because <clears throat> we finished this. Uh, I'm using a this is a um, let me remove it. This is a fan uh, fiber resistance. Fan. <clears throat> I'm gonna take it out for just a little bit. So we, I count it one. Actually, this one is. I'm sorry. This is a one here. One, two, three, four. Really, a pattern here forming, uh, a, a, like a bear flag, and then down again to finish the five. <clears throat> then. What we had yesterday was this price action here, okay, and interesting enough, this blue dotted line that is an old trend line that you see comes from this top here, that, that was the, that is, sorry, the wave C, this, part, this one here is an X, right, this one is an X, okay. This wave C here is an X, okay, a failed impulse wave, then it went down to put in a wave A, B, C to start the wave Z. So <clears throat> here we have this trend line. Let me just adjust a little bit. I, I won't count I won't count the the weeks. Uh, yes. Okay, down we touch it. Touch, touch. You see how important this trend line is, okay? 
And now again, right? we try to break it. It's now working as a resistance. Okay, really nice. With, <clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, so we touch this first target that I proposed here, the support region. Okay, this was a, a target that I proposed. If you remember my chart, I had three targets here. We touched the first one and didn't really react. We react, we touched the 55 MA here and broke it. This was the 55 MA and we broke it. And I said, okay, now we are gonna touch the 100 MA, but we haven't. We, we tried to break this, this resistance here, this trend line, and we couldn't and we went down again. Find again the support, this other support, you see here, historical support, massive, massive uh massive action in this region you see if you look at the, in the past so now we have this support <clears throat> and uh we stopped here okay just right here and now we are forming something like you might argue that this is going down again okay it's forming something like this if you if you, if you disregard the elliot wave count Okay, if you disregard it, you're gonna say, ah, okay, it's gonna go down again. But it's where I'm gonna tell you guys. <laughs> Elliot Waves gives us, Fibonacci Elliot Waves gives us a lot of hints of what is happening, okay? And if this is a five, this is a wave one, we need to have a two here. So far, we have retraced 23, 60% of this whole wave here. I think that we need to retrace at least 38, 20%. This resistance here, this line here, which I am calling uh, 6600, okay? Which we have here to do 127, 20% of FIB extension, okay? A, B, and then this we have the 127, 20%. If we use the FIB fan, let me. Uh, what is it here okay from the top here to the bottom okay here you see it's really easy to use why I'm using it because it's a it's a, it is kind of a movement let me put at the top of this yes here why I'm using this kind of fib, uh, Fibonacci because it's it's the the movement is uh, the, 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 the kind of movement is really difficult to put a channel or something. So the easiest, the, the tool that I use when I have this kind of movement is this fib fan. And it's actually pretty important. Pretty, it contains the movement, you see. Um, <clears throat> we, we touched the, the 786 here. The 786 has been a really important line, you see, at least for this present moment, because we touch it here and we try to break it and we went back down again to, to, the, to the 786. This line here, this white line here, guys, okay, this is the 786. And now what's happening? I see some confluences here. This, this is the... 30, 20% line, and this is the 23, 60% line. I see two uh, really nice confluences here, because we might as well get to the 50% here, as I have marked here, that that would be uh, 6,700, or we could just retrace to the 30, 20%. You see a, a confluence here. We have the 38, 20 here, we have the 127, 20% here and the 38, 20% of the FIB fan. So we have plenty of confluence. That's why I'm using this tool. That's why I'm, I'm, uh, I am applying it to give more data as well as here. Here we have the golden pocket here, the sweet spot. And we have this area here that has a lot of confluence. Minus 38, 20% is minus 33, 60% of the whole movement, of the whole previous movement. We have plenty 
of confluences here for this first target, this second target here. So, so I can't say that this is not going down now, but I feel because of the Fibonacci retracement, because of the Fibonacci uh, of the because of the Elliott waves, I feel that we are not going down. But you might argue that. If we break this triangle here, we can see a triangle here, right? This is like a... And then if we break down, okay. That we would, we would call this in Elliott Wave, uh, truncated fifth, uh, running, not a running, a running flat because we don't have a flat, sorry. But we would call this a truncated wave C and it would go down, okay? Perhaps this wave C here Yes, it's, it's not, it's not, we don't have a lot of price action here for this wave B. Not, nor we, we had for this A. We can't count five waves here. It's, it's really weird. We need to go to really lower time frames to check this out. But this is a one, two, three. It's a, it's weird. I know. I give you that. Probably, not probably, but we might we might have a different count that it's in play and i'm not seeing it okay but so far as i can tell this is this one two three four five is pretty in place okay this one wave here is clear and now i think that we are retracing for a wave two okay we have all those targets here in red <clears throat> All those targets here for uh, a maximum of six nine hundred, okay, six seven k perhaps, okay. That would be the limit. You see this uh, three three sixty here. We have the cross here. We would have to break this one, the, to break the the fifty percent here, thirty eight twenty percent, and to break the twenty three sixty percent here. To get to the 61865 percent, which is this the sweet spot for a wave two, it's not impossible. If we are indeed in a wave two, okay, that would be a really, uh, that would be a, an extended wave C, but it's not a problem. We see quite often an extended wave C. Um, <clears throat> so again, to the just to get back to the daily chart this means that we are in a wave true here it's really simple okay that's the the shape i think that this red red line here for me is the retracement for a wave true okay if we get from the top of this wave b here top of here to the bottom okay fib retracement at least I am putting here, uh, but just just to be conservative, you know, I would start shorting here, but we might get to the 61865%, okay? Like I said, this, it would be 7K, okay? We have those targets, 50%, 61865%, okay? We might get a shallow wave too. Don't forget that Bitcoin is famous for waves too that are either really shallow or really deep so if I, I want to be surprised to have a wave two that goes uh, <clears throat> to this level here 786 that would be 7100 people would say oh my goodness yes that was a dump but then it's it, it it's done that's the psychology behind it guys behind the Elliott waves because th th that's what the the market is trying to do it's, uh, it's trying to 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 mock us to to, to confuse us so if, we, if you see a wave two that's going up all the people is gonna start oh my goodness okay let's buy it and then the market the smart money the institutional money is gonna drop on you it's gonna dump on you because that's what a wave do wave two is trying to do is prepare the market for a huge uh, a huge wave three remember wave three is the most likely to be extended here is 100 percent so 
wave two is gonna be always is gonna be a surprise. You might have a shallow wave two because the market wants to to not uh, like me. I am preparing for this wave two here, this uh, six sixty six hundred. But then the market says no, 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 twenty three sixty percent is enough, and then it dumps. It's okay. The wave two, it's it's a um, it's it's a um, it's a point in the market. It's a point in Elliott waves that everyone is waiting. So we touched the twenty three sixty percent here. So we might see a dump right away. Who knows? Right then, this would be. Um, this wouldn't invalidate my count, but it would make a weird wave too, indeed. But it's not a problem. So be prepared, okay? If you have this, like this uh, triangle here, this formation here, and if it breaks down here, okay? It's a, this is a like a, a setup. If it, it breaks this this triangle here, if it breaks like, I would put it really down here. And I would target down here if it breaks this triangle. Okay, if I would uh, let's say we go to the 6k again, let's play the breakout. We break it, and I would put the stop loss at exactly where we are now. Okay, so the I would enter at 6k, actually, I would enter at the Let's be. You will need to break the support here. You see the support here? Let me show you guys differently. Sorry if it's confusing. Uh, this is the support. We will need to break the support here. If we break the support, then I think that we are going down. Definitely. We won't go to this, to this wave C. So I would start shorting here. Let me gather. Let me get another of this dotted line here. I will start here, you see, broke the support, I would target my stop loss above the support because we would have break it and then I would target my short at the really low here at the minus 38, 20%. That's my setup, okay? Then I, <clears throat> of course, I would take my, my profit earlier if I, if I want, like minus 33, 6%, it's not a problem, but this would be the sweet spot for me okay guys you get it you break the support here so this would be the the short position i would enter at uh six one six one hundred and i would put my stop loss at i would put uh my stop loss exactly where we are now like six three hundred okay then we need to break this support as well but then this this line here would have been broken so we have this this setup for the breakout if we go down like and we don't go like to those targets here that i'm i am proposing okay uh that's it i think uh oh by the way the weekly chart oh yes we uh we we closed the weekly chart below that blue line remember that blue line that i have been talking about for a long time we broke it and now we are reacting again oh sorry and now we are reacting again we broke it and now we are reacting so quite interesting right so we need to pay attention because this was a huge, huge, huge bearish candle on the weekly, right? And what about that cross at MACD? Remember, I talked about that cross. <laughs> Nothing. You see, it's a cross that it's a fake cross. It's a fake cross, guys. This just crossed, but now we it, we cross back. You see, if you go really and analyze it. It crossed it. You see, remember I said, okay, it's crossed. But then we, we had this sharp decline and then it crossed back. <laughs> we can, how can we see that and not be, and not believe that um, the market is mocking us, right? It's not like, 
the market is an entity, but what is behind the market? The algos, the, the algorithmics, the, the software that's playing the market is always trying to give some hints and give some clues that, the, giving some fake hints, fake clues that to make us think that something's gonna happen and then it's not, it's not gonna happen. So, <clears throat> Weekly chart is bearish, daily chart is bearish. We have all those targets here now. So, uh, that's what I'm expecting, guys. I would be really, really, really wary here and not expect those targets here. Like, if it's a rule, I don't think it's, it's impossible. I think it's really likely that we are gonna get to this 127, 20% again. So the 6600, but I would be prepared for a dump right away, okay? Uh, one thing that I need to add, guys, sorry for the, sh for the rather long video, but this is important as well. Always when we see this kind of pattern here, this is not about Elliott Waves, but we see this kind of pattern here. One huge drop, then a pullback. One larger, this is larger than this one, you see? huge drop here uh rather huger here then we lose a little bit of full here you see this one is smaller than this one and this one you see let me let me show you guys what i'm talking about i, I have mentioned this uh this pattern in different in another video probably okay so here we have the first one, first drop, compared to the second one, compared to the second one, second one is a bit, it's a bit uh, lower, right? But the third one, the third one is significantly, like it's, a, I don't know, two thirds of it. And then the, this one here, it's losing, it's losing um, steam, it's losing strength. What we expect when this happens, guys, is that we are going to have a surging price. That the opposite is going to happen because the bears is losing power. When we compare those, uh, those drops, okay, this happens here, for instance. I'm going to give you guys an example here, okay. Compare this, this, then this, then you see that when you see that it's losing strength like here compare this one this one this one and then it's starting to lose the strength and then we start to grow to go up okay here that we can see oops sorry we can see this pattern in the opposite direction right like here we had it was going up started here right going up Going up, smaller, see? First one, second one, a bit less. Third one, a little bit less. This, the last one is more than this one. If you calculate, it's it, or at least the same size, but then it can't hold any longer and then we drop, okay? So you you wanna be really, this this one is the same thing, okay? When you see that, the volume of buyers or the vol volumes of sellers, it starts to diminish, starts to decrease. It's when you are prepared for for a reversal, right? It's it's likely to see a surging price here because this is another uh, another piece of information that's telling me that we need not not that we need, but it's likely that we are gonna see some kind of surging price here to get to the C here. Okay, another piece of information, because I see that the sellers are decreasing here. It's decreasing in um, in strength. But be prepared. Okay, guys. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you like, you please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. Uh, don't forget to take a look at our Discord group. Uh, the link is in the description. If you haven't followed me on social media, on my Twitter, please consider doing so. And take a look at my Patreon. 
to support this educational content. Okay? Uh, have a wonderful week. I see you guys later. Cheers. Enjoy your trades.